A renewal of the curfew in Boko has triggered the disruption of power supply to the East Mamprusi municipality and the Bunkrungu Nangmanduri in the northeast region. The frequent power outages have become a source of concern to residents of these two municipal and district assemblies. The situation has severely affected the commercial and social activities of the people and also disrupted public and private services. According to the power distributor Netco, the situation is caused by the removal of the power control room staff in Boko due to the security situation in that town. The youth of Nalerugu and Gambaga have however rejected the explanation from Netco. Correspondent Ilya Satsanko has more. The past two months, the East Mampurisi municipality, including the northeast regional capital town Nalergu, as well as the Bunkurgu Napanduri district, have been facing frequent and prolonged power outages. Electricity supply in communities of these areas has been unreliable and of poor quality. Each day, the power goes off at 4 p.m. and is never restored until around 11 p.m. the following day. In Nalergu, the situation is severely affecting the commercial and social activities of the people particularly cold store operators, electronic cash transfer operators, tailors and dressmakers, and shop owners. The residents also complain that the unannounced power cuts have damaged their electrical appliances and gadgets like deep freezers, refrigerators, television, and radio sets. It's affecting my mobile money business. It's affecting my yogurt business. It's affecting all facets of my life, and it's very particular. We don't know what is really going on. No information, VIA. We are paying. We don't know whether it's because of the monopoly or what. I heard that some regions or some places, they don't see that this, these things. For instance, I want to hear. No life out. We are here in Kwembe, so we don't know what. And here is a regional capital. If they, they do the rise off, we can, people will not come out, so we will not sell. And our things will not even freeze for us to sell. So that's our problem. We want the lights. They should give us our own uh, distant substation so that we, every day, if there is problem, they can be able to solve it for us. Do what work do you do, perhaps? Yeah, we are doing more money business. I'm affecting us a lot in the sense that all our phones that we are using to do transactions are off. Even customers' phones are also off. Due to that, they are not able to draw their money or send money. So the situation has been worsened by violence and instability in Boko, where the power control room for many parts of the northeast region is located. According to the power distributor Nedco, staff stationed in the control room in Boko were moved to Bolgatanga after the facility was targeted by gunmen during one of the escalations. The staff now move from Bolga to Boko daily to provide critical services and return to Boko. These staff include Including operators at the control room who hitherto provided a 24 hour service via a shift arrangement, according to Netco, are no longer available. Therefore, if faults occur after 4 pm, there are no operators in the control room to restore power. However, the youth groups in Nalirgu and Gambaga have described the explanation of the Netco as flimsy and unacceptable. The youth, on the other hand, are accusing the Boko Area Managing Director of instigating the outages to punish the people of Mampurgo over the communal violence in Boko. The spokesperson of the Nalirgu Youth Association, Mahama Yamusa, spoke to Joy News after a petition was sent to the Netco in Bolga. We are telling you to know that people are ethnically influencing it because they belong to one group or the other. Look, the truth of the matter is that this conflict of Kusasi Vampiracy is not in Malerugu, it is in Boku. We agree with we, our people, but it doesn't mean that the, the problem is from here. So if in the night you go and switch off power, one, it will lead to antisocial vices, people will steal, people will break into stores, people will uh, do things that we cannot imagine. That is why we are thinking that no, even the Kusasi in their home also needs the lights. Why are you denying us of power with the mere reason that there's nobody in the control room? They are aware, they are only not acting. And they are not acting because the MD is from Pusiga. He he kind of wants to liaise with the people there to do certain things that we are not comfortable with. So if indeed they wanted to solve this problem. 
We would have done it. According to Yamusa, the youth in the petition gave the NETCO one week ultimatum to fix the challenge. If they are not able to do anything within a week, it means that they are telling us to hit the roots, which we are prepared to do. If they think that we are not Ghanaians, Northeast region is not part of the regions of Ghana. We are not going to agree. He said the residents of the Northeast region are demanding the installation of a power control room in the regional capital as a permanent solution. Can you imagine Upper East, as small as it is, Navrongo alone is having three power stations. Balogu is having a power station. Volga is having power station. Boku is having power station. Zebula is having power station. And we in the Northeast, we can boast of only a small power station at Wale Wale, which cannot supply the district here. Topless of Bunkuru, Yuyo, and Cherponi. So the substation is what we need. Ilias Sutanko reporting from Nalirgo for Joy News.